look at my watch, check to see what the exact date is, and uh, hopefully don't go ahead and post this on the wrong day again, because that was fun last time. Um, give me one sec, actually. Okay, sorry, I needed to do that. Let me take a sip. Because, as I like to do whenever I completely mess something up, um, is I guess to punish myself, <clears throat> at least to your amusement, I hope at least. Um, so I decided to do a U.S. president's birth locations, and I'm going to try to guess to see how close I get. To number one, if I can list them off. I mean, it says there's 40. It's either 43, 44, 45. I can't remember exactly when this was on here. So I'm very much going to do badly on this. I have a feeling at least. There was a time when I had to memorize all the presidents in order. I think that was, if I try to remember the year, let's see. 1995, I think I actually had to do that. It may have been 96, but let me take a drink again. Ah, I got the kombucha in me. It's going to help me out in no way. So what I'm going to try to do is find out what president was born on a, a dirt hill. <clears throat> I got to do a couple of things here. Number one, I have to find out exactly where we are. Number two, try to find out what um president we're doing i think this is ohio let me let me just take a look see the 71 yeah okay we're in uh columbus uh 71 to 75 Maybe we're not. Where is 75? Oh, we're over here in Dayton. 271 West 50. Where am I? We got 71. 75 is down. Here. In the Natty. Sensor Natty. There's 50. Okay, are we on the... Kentucky border, I mean the Kentucky side of the Ohio River, or are we in the uh, Ohio side? What's this sign say here? Mount Adams. I'm going to say that this is John Quincy Adams. This is the president that we're uh, talking about here. I think this is the uh, Ohio side. <clears throat> If I can see where the baseball stadium is, I'll know exactly where I am. Let me see. All this goddamn truck's in the way. I have been to this location. I'm just trying to remember exactly where. Because I want to say that this is the uh, Newport. Okay. So my guess is I'm going to have to say downtown riverfront. Yep. All right. So I'm going to hit home. I want to find out if I can actually get who this is. John Quincy Adams. He was the. I'm going to say two. It's either the second or the sixth. So I'm going to go over here into Google. Uh, that's what I had to pause and pull up here. So let me find out. John Q-I-N-C Adams. All right. John Quincy Adams. All right, I was right on one of the two. I said six, second and six, so I got half points for that. Uh, let's see if it says where he was born. Okay, it's definitely not John Quincy Adams because he was born in Braintree, Massachusetts. So, nope. Now what I need to do is Google 
Maybe it's Taft. S I D E N. Born in Cincinnati. I'm going to say Taft. Okay, it was. Wow, there's a lot. Four presidents. You've got. Uh, Wait a minute, this seems weird. It lists four, but there's six here? Um, Grant was born in Pleasant Point, which is close. William Henry Harrison was born there, so wasn't Benjamin Harrison. Oh, wait, no, that's his grandson. I'm dumb. Anyway... Um, I guess I'll give myself no points for not getting the location right. I got the president and one of the potential days he could have been president. Uh, let's see. Real quick. Fun fact about John Quincy Adams. Um, I'm just going to click on, let's see here. His person, his personality. You want to learn about his personality. Adam's personality and political beliefs were much like his father's. He had a dad. Surprise there. He always preferred secluded reading to social engagements and several times had to be pressured by others to remain in public service. Um, apparently he wore a powdered wig through his youth and abandoned this fashion and became the first president to adopt a short haircut instead of a long hair tied in, to a queue. Yeah, it's spelled like Q. I'm assuming it's the same thing. And regularly wore long trousers instead of knee breeches. What a fashion icon. It also has been suggested that apparently he had the highest IQ of any president. They estimated his IQ at 165. What a smart boy. We're all getting a little smarter now. <clears throat> all right, this looks to be suburbia. This Florida. Um, I don't know any presidents born in Florida, so I think I'm going to be proper, proper, uh, fucked here. Um, this could be Hawaii. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to take a look at this sign here. Maybe this will tell me. Your Belinda. So this is California, I believe. The fuck was born in, is that Reagan? I think Reagan was born in, or is he Massachusetts? Fuck, uh, let's go to Yor Yorba Linda. I think that's down here. It's one of these, like, big cities, but it's shadowed by one, some other one, so it's going to be really hard to see it. So let's do a little zoom in. Yorba. Mm. <laughs> My throat is revolting against me. Yorba Linda. Pismo Beach, no. I'm going to put us near Santa Cruz just to have us somewhere, but I think, I, I don't know if I'm sold on. Now I'm like, wait, is Yorba Linda in, Cal in, in Arizona? I'm stuck in fucking suburbia here. Get me out. Let's go this way. Maybe this will get me out. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Come on. Where are we going? I need to see. I was hoping to see a bumper sticker. Ooh, that truck. Uh, that might be a waste management thing. Where'd that van go? Oh, it backed in. Okay. You thought you could sneak away. Oh, you are sneaking away from me. You sneaky little git. Hmm. Okay. I get so little time here. That's a... Golden State Water Company. All right, so we are in Cali. The only problem is, I don't know where the frig your Belinda is. Is it like near Petaluma? My, my brain gets all messed up when I think of things in California. Like, I think everything is south. Like, I think San Francisco is farther south than it is, and it's, like, definitely not. I think San Jose is, like, closer to the border here, even though it's not. Um, I got a minute left. I'm gonna say get get off the screen, please. Thank you. All right. 
I'm going to say Reagan was born here. And Reagan was the 39th president. Let me, let me, let me find out. R-E-G-A-N. Reagan. Not King Lear. Wait, maybe if I help I put his first name. Here we go. He was born. <laughs> okay, I was off. Tampico, Illinois. And I said, what, 39th? He was the... Hmm. 40th president. So I wasn't that far off. I don't know what fuck president this is, though. Yorba Lind is down here. Okay, let me find out. President born in Yorba Linda. Nixon. Oh, okay. Well, since this was Nixon, I will do uh, Nixon Wiki. Um, let's see, a fun fact about him. Let's see, personality and public image. We'll, we'll, apparently all Wikipedia's have this. Uh, let's see. Nixon's career was frequently dogged by his persona and the public perception of it. Editorial cartoonists and comedians often exaggerated his appearance and mannerisms to the point where the line between human and character became increasingly blurred. He was often portrayed with unshaven jowls, slumped shoulders, and a furrowed, sweaty brow. <laughs> and it, it, it's, it's pretty funny. You could always watch um, Futurama. Pretty good uh, Nixon bot in there. That's pretty funny. Uh, Frost Nixon's a good movie. Go check that out as well. <clears throat> so I'm not doing very well as far as... Um, pinpointing these. This feels in the south. I don't know where in the south, but it's a Phillips 66. That used to be a gas station, I think, but it's not anymore. You think places like this would have like bigger signs being like birthplace and such and such, especially when they're like smaller towns like this would be. City of Lamar. Well, now I know where it is. The problem is where it is. No trash dumping. Well, don't tell me what to do. Um, got train tracks, man. This is rural. Oh, we do have a little development there. Hmm. I'm just clicking far to see if I can't maybe get... If I get out of town, maybe it'll get me to a uh, highway sign or something. Let's see if this church sign might tell me something. First Baptist Church. Okay, so we got Baptist. So this is, <clears throat> I'm going to say the south. I do see that water tower. I'm kind of skirting it, hopefully being able to turn right at some point. I got two minutes. Okay, first guess for president. Maybe Jimmy Carter. I feel this is like in the south. It could be like Georgia or something, but this also could be Midwest. And I don't know. I'm going to go this way to, ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? Oh, some hoity-toity gate for your house. Who are you, who are you trying to improve, uh, impress here? Okay, we got a school out here and a warehouse, Thorco. What school is this? In a minute. Uh, I do see a sign. First Baptist Church. Ooh, they even have a big, fancy, uh, lighted sign. This is Midwest. This is not... Um, this is not Georgia. Hmm. I have very little time here. Uh, East Primary. Wow, that, that does not help me. Oh, we're in Missouri. Okay. 
Missouri presidents. Wait, where? What was the name of the town? Shit, I got a, I got a motor. What was it Laramie? A oh, Lamar. Hmm, this seems kind of flat, so I feel we're over here. I'm gonna say, oh, Lamar, look at that. Harry S. Truman. Well, that gave it away. All right, Truman. I'm going to say he was the 12th president. Harry S. Truman. No, wait, no. He was per, uh, World War II. So I'm going to say he was the uh, 19th president. Let me, let me find out. Harry S. Truman. <laughs> <laughs> I was off. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I was so off that I almost choked to death. <clears throat> uh, uh, all right. Yeah, he was a 33rd president. 45 to 53. I was off. <clears throat> Just a little. What do we got here for personality? I guess he didn't have any personality because they don't listen on Wikipedia. We've got tributes and legacy. Uh, anything will do. Legacy. Uh, he's got a thing that says the buck stops here. Oh, here's a here's a fact for you. In 1953, he received the Solomon Bublik Award of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. What is the Solomon Bublik Award? It's an award made by the Hebrew University of Jerusalem to a person who has made important contribution to the advancement and development of the state of Israel. How about that? Um, Truman was also a member of the Sons of the American Revolution, which was... American Congressionally Chartered Organization. It was a non-profit. He was a card-carrying member of the Sons of the Confederate Veterans because two of his relatives were Confederate soldiers. Fascinating. Next. I had no idea <clears throat> Truman was born there. That thing kind of gave it away, though, unfortunately. Jackson Ave. Center Grove. What is this a statue of? WW? Bunch of railroad people digging springs? I don't think that's how springs work. What's that say? Oh, Waxhaw? During the train derailment of Waxhaw? Waxhaw is... Is Waxhaw in Alabama? Or is it Mississippi? Be still and know I am God. So, what what does that mean? If I'm quiet, then 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 I'm God. I don't I don't know. This is a weird little road thing. You got nice, nice, and then a very hidden house with trees growing out of the foundation, which I know is kind of bad. Aaron Skin Studio at Noma. Waxaw. This is. A quaint little town. I don't. I've heard the name Waxhaw, but now it's just like where. They're pouring though. Maybe not right now. The Carolinas. Well, Ulysses S. No, we just found out Grant was in Cincinnati. So now I gotta find Waxhaw. I don't know where that is. I've never heard of it. Okay. I realized after saying it, I've never heard of Wax Out when I've just been talking nonstop about it. This is just further example that my brain is dumb and has a uh, memory worse than a goldfish when it comes to trying to remember and have some sort of cognitive sentence. I don't even listen to myself. 
Waxaw. I don't know why I feel like it's in the South Carolina. Put us near Wallace. That means nothing, though. Um, walkway to parking. Tangles. Knitting on Main. I always wonder how, like, uh, whatever these are, awards, how those things stay in business, but I guess they do, because it seems like every town has one. Bike Depot, Nationwide. I can't remember what North Carolina plates look like. But now i got to think of a Carolina uh, president. The Waxhaws. Maybe we're in here. Maybe this is um, Andrew Jackson. He was like the ninth or tenth president, wasn't he? The Waxhaw. They're going to actually put us near Asheville. Because I, I don't know. Alright, I'm going to see if... Andrew Jackson was, I said what, the ninth or 10th president? Seventh. Okay, and he was born where? Wax, oh shit, I got it right. He was born in Waxhaw. Uh, between North and South Carolina, British America. Fuck me, I nailed one. This one I can at least do a couple of interesting facts without even have to look at Wikipedia. And apparently, the uh, either the treaty, the the surrender, or the ceasefire for the Civil War went on, but since it took so long for news to travel anywhere, um, uh, army led by Andrew Jackson fought in. Around New Orleans after the war ended, so it was kind of a pointless war. I forget how many people actually died. He was a raging alcoholic, carried around a cane, and was uh, one to swear a lot. And apparently, at his funeral, he had a pet parrot that had to be taken out of the church for its nonstop cussing at his funeral. Interesting guy. Hmm. All right. So, one out of five, I'm very impressed that I got that one. I came into this really not expecting to get any of these. And getting one, at least birthplace right, you know, everything else, I, I got completely wrong when he was president. So, Gulliver Street. Can't, whoa, that was a disorienting click. This seems to be a dead-end chunk of road here. Is this going to be Eisenhower? I don't know where Eisenhower was born. But this feels just like a suburbia thing. I, I do see a road here. I want to see this porta potty. Because, yeah, usually they'll say where they're from, but it doesn't. Now, I'm going to see if this truck's here when we... Okay, we don't have it anymore. It disappeared. There is a school up there. I'm going to try to go up and turn right. We did just pass that, so we're doing a big circle. Um, get me over here. Caldwell Blanker. Marlene Wise, residential. Ah, I can't make that out. I'm looking to see if I can't see the road for that school. But I feel like I want to guess Eisenhower for this for no reason. Or maybe this is actually a Kennedy. This is John F. Kennedy. We got Indian Cliffs. Hmm. We went way past that school. I don't know where the road is for it. All right, here we go. We got a Zoo of New England, Franklin Park Zoo. All right, this does feel Milton Village. Hmm. Well, Canton, Ohio, but this is New England Zoo. Last I knew, uh, Ohio is not in New England. 
This could be Massachusetts. But I do not know. This is a long stretch of road here. With like nary a bit of useful information on it. It's just houses. Maybe this this fan, nope, just nondescript. Huh. Well, I want to say a Kennedy. Tucker Elementary School. Uh, that flag doesn't help me. Let's keep going. I feel like we're opening up to a potential school. Although this says inspections are due. Massachusetts Motor Vehicle Inspection Station. All right. So we are in Massachusetts. I'm going to say we're here and I'm going to guess uh, Kennedy, John F. Kennedy. We're in Milton, Massachusetts. If it's not him, maybe FDR. I got to make a guess between one of them. Hmm. I'm going to say Kennedy. John F. Kennedy was the 30... Second, I mean, it's right after Nixon. Let's see, 35th. All right, John F. Kennedy. Oh, there's Milton. Let's go to where is Wiki? Wikipedia. He was born in Brookline. Is this Brookline? Um, doesn't say. He was born in Brookline, Mass. I'm going to specifically look for President born in Milton, Milton, Mass. George Herbert Walker Bush. Well, then, I got that one quite wrong. And one out of five I'll stick with. I need to take a drink. There you go. My voice is fading. I gotta struggle through it. Thank you all for watching and enjoying this Wednesday video of GeoGuessr. If you have any suggestions for maps or anything else in mind, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them again back to you. Um, if you have any thoughts, questions, concerns, complaints, ideas. You know, whatever you want with like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and go ahead and put those there as well. Click some stuff with your mouse. Go have some fun. I can't tell you what to do. I am thinking about maybe trying Blood Bowl, putting that on the channel. Let me know what you think about it. If you're indifferent, who cares, whatever. Um, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you here on Friday. Bye-bye.